Hello and welcome again to all football news. Manchester City wins Bayern Munich with an extraordinary margin. If you want to stay updated to all the latest football news, all you have to do is to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. This time for the huge Champions League quarterfinal clash between Manchester City and Bayern Munich from the Etihad Stadium. Bayern Munich have won each of their eight Champions League games this season, including two ties against PSG as they look to maintain that record against Pep Guardiola's side. That said, City are on an eight-match winning streak in all competitions and beat Southampton 4-1 at the weekend in the Premier League. Bayern also won at the weekend, but it was a more subdued 1-0 victory over Freiburg. Erling Haaland will be aiming to break his duck against Bayern, having lost all seven times he played against FC Hollywood while a Borussia Dortmund player. Both Manchester City and Bayern Munich cruised into the quarter-finals with flying colours, with Bayern beating Paris Saint-Germain twice without conceding a goal, while City hit seven unanswered past RB Leipzig in the last 16-second leg at the Etihad Stadium. Manchester City, for one, was seeking retribution for their 2021 Champions League final defeat to Thomas Tuchel, who has recently taken over the Bavarians as first team manager after Julian Nagelsmann was sacked in a controversial manner. Pep Guardiola says he is, emotionally destroyed, and, aged 10 years, during Man City's victory against Bayern Munich despite winning 3-0, as he admits the German side was superior for long periods. Pep Guardiola was left, emotionally destroyed, and claimed he aged 10 years even though Manchester City swatted aside Bayern Munich on Tuesday night. Rodri, Bernardo Silva and Erling Haaland gave City a sizeable three-goal advantage going into next week's Champions League quarter-final second leg in Bavaria. Haaland has now faced Bayern eight times in his career thus far, but BVB's distinct inferiority complex continued to manifest in Der Klassiker despite his goal-scoring prowess. Thus, Haaland lost all seven meetings against Bayern while wearing black and yellow, five in the Bundesliga, and two in the DFL Supercup. However, the striker fared pretty well from a scoring perspective. In these seven games, Haaland scored five times. His most memorable outing came in March 2021 when he scored twice in the opening 10 minutes of a Bundesliga encounter before Bayern scored four unanswered to win 4-2 thanks to a pair of strikes. The Norwegian's first goal at the Allianz Arena arrived earlier in the 2020 DFL Supercup. Haaland scored Dortmund's second on the night as they equalised from 2-0 down before Joshua Kimmich struck late on to hand Bayern the trophy. His sole game for City yielded the third goal in the comprehensive 3-0 win, and marked Haaland's first win against Bayern. City are on the verge of a third successive semi-final after goals from Rodri, Bernardo Silva and Erling Haaland handed the Bundesliga side the biggest Champions League defeat for nearly six years. Guardiola claimed the frantic game at the Etihad Stadium had aged him significantly but hailed the result as incredible. Emotionally, I'm destroyed, Guardiola told a post-match news conference. I have aged 10 more years today. It was such a demanding game. Now I have to relax. A day off for the guys, prepare for Leicester on Saturday. I know exactly what you have to do there in Munich. If you don't perform really well, they are able to score one, two, three. I know that. The players know that. It's an incredible result, but we have to do our game with huge, huge personality. After Rodri had put City ahead with a stunning strike from outside the penalty area, City took advantage of a Diet Upencano mistake to make it 2-0 when the French defender was robbed by Jack Grealish and Haaland crossed for Silva to head in. Haaland made it 3. With his 45th goal of a record-breaking season, representing the most ever by a Premier League player. And although it made for an emphatic result, Bayern boss Thomas Tuchel said afterward he did not believe it was deserved. I won't allow the players to focus on the result, Tuchel said. It's not deserved, and it does not tell the story of this match. That will be the challenge, to focus on things we did good. We played with personality, courage, the right attitude and with a lot of quality. Everybody is disappointed, and we have very mixed feelings. I told the players, and they felt this does not feel like 3-0, to 
but it is 3 to 0, and it's a huge, huge task to turn it around. We will not give up, and a home match in Germany is a home match in Germany, and it will not be over until we're in the shower. Do you really think that Bayern can turn up to this margin? Thanks for watching, please do like and drop your comment in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated to all latest football news.